hi and welcome back to my channel another recipe for slimming world and healthy eating we are going to be doing a butternut and uh, butternut squash and tomato soup so we're going to roast the vegetables first and i'll show you what i've got so i've got a huge butternut squash which i'm not going to peel but i'm just going to top and tail and chop into chunks i've got uh, two red onions, two large carrots, I've got some sweet vine ripened tomatoes and some plum tomatoes. So I'm going to peel and just chop into very uh, loose chunks uh, and then I'll show you what's next. I've got my oven preheating to 200 degrees, ready to roast these off a little. So in my roasting tray I have my butternut squash two red onions, two carrots, some cherry plum tomatoes and some bigger tomatoes and I've also added some garlic cloves. Now because I am going to be doing this in the soup maker I've only chopped them very roughly and I'm only going to roast them for probably about 45 minutes which probably won't like cook them through but I just want the like the roasted flavour so then I'm going to add some seasoning, so I want some salt and some pepper and you can add whatever you want like curry powder. Weirdly enough I have this Persian kofta from Spice and Tice, I think that'll be fine so I'm going to add that, I'll sprinkle that on after and give it a good spray with fry light and then like I say, shove it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Um, and then we'll get the soup maker out. Here we are then, here's our roasted vegetables. Now as I said, the butternut squash and the carrots are still like a bit hard so you couldn't eat them so you'd have to um, cook it a bit longer if you actually wanted to roast them properly. But as I'm going to put everything in my soup maker I just wanted that sort of roasted flavour and you don't even have to do this step if you don't want to, you can just throw everything in your soup maker um, and it will cook it. I have done raw butternut squash and raw carrot before in the soup maker and it's turned out fine but I just wanted this roasted taste and the Persian kofta I've added smells really really nice so I'm now going to put everything into my soup maker. So I've got all my lovely veg in there, just about squeezed it in and of course there was a bit of juice that came out of the roasting veg so I put that in as well. I'm going to add a pint of vegetable stock and actually that's come up to the max line so I'm going to leave it at that. And I will cook that using my soup maker for 20 minutes. So here is my little bit spicy butternut and tomato soup. It's, it's quite spicy tasting because I've added the Persian kofta uh, spice and tice mix but obviously you don't have to add that, just add whatever seasonings you want to add. It's really really nice, it's really creamy. You can taste the butternut, you can taste the tomato it's amazing. So I'm now going to split it between these four containers or soup mugs which I got from Home Bargains. There'll be about 350ml of soup in each one and it will be really filling, really speedy, completely free on the Slimming World plan uh, and it has butternut, tomato, carrots and onions and I'm really looking forward to eating that tomorrow. So just look at this, I filled up my containers and there's nearly 400ml in each container and still there's this little bit left that I'm going to try now. It is a thicker consistency which I like so you could add a bit more water if you wanted to or you could add a little bit of quark to thin it down a little bit but I'm going to taste this now and tell you what I think to it. So I can doubly, triply confirm that this soup is absolutely delicious and I've got four portions to put away in the freezer and one to eat tomorrow. 
really really nice as i say you don't have to add the spice entice mix you can just add a bit of curry powder or whatever seasoning you prefer and it would make a really really nice pasta or curry sauce as well so let me know if you try it and thank you for watching